one plus one equals two. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, um, I want to answer a question that I've actually gotten a lot from people asking me about dividend stocks. So the question that I've, I've been getting is, how do I know how much I'm going to get each month or each quarter uh, on dividends? I know they give me the, the dividend uh, yield, but how do I know the exact dollar amount that I get every month from the stocks that I invest in? So um, I don't want to have to like go through the entire process and like respond to every question. So I'm just going to do a video here that will kind of help people that are maybe wondering and just wanted to know how, how to calculate that number. So um, and again, in this situation, we're going to use a hypothetical number because um, we don't really have or a specific, I don't want to use a specific company or whatever. So you're using a hypothetical number. So you can use this and apply it to every other company that pays dividends that you have in your portfolio. So um, let's jump into it. And um, on the board here, I already have some, some stuff set up that you can actually see. So the, actually the formula for you to know how much you're going to get or um, the, the, the dividends per share um, is very simple. So it's uh, D over S where D is the sum of the dividends over a period. So it could be um, um, a year or it could be a quarter or it could be um, maybe a month. So, and that's, that's what D stands for. Then um, your S is just the ordinary share. So how many shares of that company are out there? So the company might have a hundred thousand shares, a million shares, a billion shares. How many of the uh, outstanding shares does this company have? So that's the basic formula for you to be able to calculate uh, the dividends per share. Again, I'm gonna repeat it again, is um, just the sum of the dividend over a period that that company is gonna pay out. Could be monthly or it could be uh, quarterly, it could be um, year. And then divide that by the outstanding number of shares. So we're gonna use a, a simple example here. Maybe this is gonna explain this better for you guys. So um, let's assume that you um, an investor that buys dividend stocks, right? And that's what we're talking about here, dividend stocks. And you buy, say, a thousand shares of um, a company, Mr. V stocks. And I'm just using that for example. Um, and then assume that um, on a monthly basis, you get dividends from that company. And this particular month, the company says we're going to pay um, two million dollars in dividends um, um, to the shareholders. And then the company house, uh, uh, they have an outstanding uh, a number of shares. They have 20 million um, uh, um, ordinary shares, right? So if you take this number that's giving you, now you can calculate your dividends per share very easily. So basically the, the way you're gonna do this is if you just divide um, this 2 million, you divide 2 million over the 20 million shares that are outstanding, here so this will probably give something like 0 0.1 right so that is the dividend per share that you would get so you get you get about one cent per share but in your case you bought a thousand shares of mr v so how much are you going to get at the end of the month when they pay that dividend you take that number in, in your case 0 0.1 times 1000 which is the number of shares that you bought, and that's gonna give you about $100. So at the end of the month, if you own a thousand shares of Mr. V, uh, based on this example, you get $100 deposited into your account. That is how you calculate uh, dividends per share. So if you're wondering how um, to calculate it or to know exactly how much you're going to get from that company that you bought their dividend stocks. This is the formula. Again, just going to do a quick recap here. This is supposed to be a very short video. Um, dividend per share is equals to uh, D over S where D is the sum uh, of dividends over a period. So the company will tell you how much you want to pay over that period. That is what you get for D. S is the outstanding number of shares that that company has out there. And then 
once you take that and get in her example we say the, the company wants to pay two million dollars in dividends for that particular month and then they have 20 million outstanding shares so we take 2 million divided by 20 million gives you one cent and then if you multiply that by 1000 you get a hundred dollars because you own a thousand shares of uh, Mr. V. So that's pretty much the way it works. I hope this video is very helpful. Again, I just wanted to answer this quick question that I've been getting um, a lot from people um, asking how much they're going to get if they buy a certain amount of um, a shares in a particular dividend paying uh, company. So um, let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions or, or just uh, any, any suggestions as to what you want me to cover. Um, and, and as always, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because YouTube keeps telling me that 90% of you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I post new videos, you will get them right away and be able to uh, stay informed. And as always, guys, stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep everybody around you safe, and I wish you the best, and always stay motivated.